everyone, EMC here. Welcome back to Persona 5. And uh, I've realized like, I haven't really shown this or whatnot there, but uh, this is our Persona. This is our Sen. And uh, as you can see, if you want to look at his background there, he is the main character of uh, Maurice Leblanc. Well, Leblanc. Leblanc's novels, Arsène Lupin. And so, he's actually, uh, uh, if, I, if I'm remembering right, or if my information is correct, I don't know much about it, but if anybody is a, a fan of the uh, Loop in the Third uh, anime and manga, uh, I'm fairly certain that uh, Arsène here is uh, that character, essentially. Uh, Lupin the Third, I believe he's supposed to be... Uh, like the same thing so if I'm wrong I'm wrong feel free to tell me I'm an idiot in the comments but I'm fairly certain that's uh, who this character is supposed to be so uh, and yeah so we can take a look at uh, our persona stats here which I actually haven't done before and I, I actually did look at what uh, uh, what's it called here what uh, Sekunda is here it's uh, debuff for the enemies and uh, I think all the uh, Unda spells the, the Kunda spells at the bottom there Sekunda uh, Rakunda and Tar... Uh, I think Tarakunda are the three spells. They're uh, the different stats. So this is evasion and, and uh, accuracy. The other two are defense and attack, respectively. And so we, apparently we're weak against uh, Bless and Light. Ice. Bless and Ice. And so let's go talk to Ryuji has an off-limits sign posted up here, but it looks like the door is unlocked. Yeah, because we know Ryuji's up here. That would make sense. There you are. Alright, I can't help but immediately have my, my eyes drawn to the plants in the background. What the hell? <laughs> Just... That is the first thing I see when this scene opens up. Well then... Sorry for calling you up here like this. I doubt you actually are sorry. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like, don't get involved with him, huh? Yeah, she mentioned that more than once. <laughs> how'd you know? Yeah, how'd you know? <sighs> Figured as much. Then again, we're in the same boat. E are we? Are we really? I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah. Why are everyone talking about it? Why are? <laughs> wow. No wonder you were so gutsy. What was all that that happened? You know, how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Yeah, I do remember it. Well, just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. Yeah, it's not like anyone's gonna believe it. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. Yeah, don't make me regret that. So yeah, uh, thanks. I'm just thinking here, like, he just says, so yeah, thanks, and then, like, it cut out, that was the end of that, like, because well, clearly the main character's name isn't uh, set in stone or anything, so they couldn't voice that, but I'm surprised he didn't say, like, yeah, thanks, dude, or anything like that, like, it's just, I don't, I don't know, uh, it was nothing, or you're well, no, you are welcome. That man, that Kamoshida we saw there. Yeah, I don't want to picture him again probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. I... I've been hearing some. Or at least about him and Anne. Or, well, yeah, there we go. Takam uh, Takamaki, I believe they called her. Her first name is Anne. Yeah, the guy we met earlier. Yeah, the ripped mop head. <laughs> the ripped mop head. That is a pretty good description. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. Okay, that explains that. The way Kamashita was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. Mm hmm. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. Ah, 
Forget it. It must have all been a dream. It has to be. Yeah, we both had exactly the same dream during the day. Yeah, that, that, that's right. Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know, we might be pretty similar. Mm, not entirely sure about that. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. You're presuming a little too much. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. Sakamoto? Not Sakamoto? Eh, pronunciations. Pretty sure it's supposed to be Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, alright? I see ya. Kinda get the impression you're you're you'll make it hard to ignore you. Alright, well, we have a rooftop. Is there anything up here? <laughs> Those damn plants again. Alright. <laughs> I guess I'll just head home for today. Yeah, you got an interesting call from your school today. Yeah. It's only your first day and you're already showing up hours late. It was an accident, I'm sorry. Question. <sighs> See, any one of these things is just gonna be, oh, you're just making excuses. Oh, I'm just, you're sorry, oh, I bet. And staying quiet, so like, you have nothing to say for yourself? Like, there's, there's nothing that, nothing good can possibly come from any of these choices. So I'm just going to buck up and apologize because, eh. And here I thought you got up and left on the time this morning. I did got up, get up and leave on time. You saw me leave. Like that did happen. Like today, uh, like in game, right? Like the day I he gave me breakfast. It was curry, and then I went off from there so I wouldn't be late. That was this morning in game, right? Look, just behave yourself. Your life's forfeit if anything. <laughs> wow, that escalated quickly. Your life's forfeit if anything happens. You understand the meaning of probation, right? I understand the meaning that if something happens, I'm not. My life isn't forfeit. I'm not going to just be killed. Wow, getting uh, getting serious there, Soji. I'll just go along with it. Okay then. Yeah, please don't kill me. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I just closed up shop. I'll be there in half an hour. Wow, I'm going quite the ways. What is it? What are you standing around for? Go hurry on up to bed. No, I just hired a part-timer. <laughs> just... <laughs> Yo. Don't forget to lock the door and turn out all the lights, okay? Yep, I'm leaving now. I told you, he's a part-timer. Okay. Storage. We still can't take our stuff from storage. What was that castle we wandered into this morning? Just a dream? Did I even read that right? Did you say what was that, or was you saying was that castle? Yeah. Books are stacked on the deck. Yeah. Shelves with old books. They're all crammed into these. Alright, well, I guess there's nothing else to do except to go to bed. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because of all the weird stuff that's been happening to me. Sleep. Oh, we're going back to the Velvet Room. This transition here is kind of trippy. Feels like they kind of made that for like a 3D TV in mind, something like that. About time you've come to. Ah, oh, Caroline. On your feet, inmate. So have you guys figured out what the uh, the hats say if you put them if you put them together? 
like properly put them together. Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Alright, so what's going on here? We had that Velvet Room experience uh, thing when we were uh, being drugged, and it was talking as though this was the first time we've ever been there, and you know, we'll meet again sort of thing, and it'll explain more later. And now this is way in the past now. This is like part of a memory, essentially. And now he's talking to us like it's the second time that he's speaking, like, you've awakened to your powers at last, and all that. Like, what is going on with the the back and forth here? Like, he did say the Velvet Room stands is a place between dreams and reality, so does that mean time means nothing? The fact that this is the second time we're meeting is... It's like, or, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't understand this timing, why me crap? <laughs> Your rehabilitation can finally begin. My powers, rehabilitation... Well, my powers we already know, he's clearly talking about pers our persona. So, rehabilitation. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. Thanks, Igor. Thanks. You will be training the power of persona which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. I have high expectations for you. That's not my concern, dot 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 dot. Yeah, what do you mean? That's a good question. What do you mean, Igor? There is no need to worry. You will learn when the time comes. You know, I should have expected that. But okay, fine. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? <laughs> have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? I'm sorry, the what? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. Okay. Palaces? Metaverse Navigator? I wish there was a choice here for... Huh? Because that's exactly what I would probably be saying here. Although, I can put two new together here. The Metaverse Nav is that weird nav that keeps showing up on our phone. That's fairly obvious. Palaces? The only thing that comes to mind while this is, you know, Kamoshiro's castle. That, that whole instance there. You should be able to put these together put two and two together and know what he's talking about at least through context of what you've been through and what he's saying. Come on. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. I don't like these types of characters. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. You've got one that's like, uh, like Justine here. She is calm, calculated, and uh, uh, I don't really know what else where I'm going with that. But then uh, Caroline, on the other hand, is just a bitch. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. That Sundere type, I believe, is is the. Uh, is the name for that typical trope. I've never been a fan of that kind of character. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. Okay. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. Thank you. So glad I have your permission. Another strange dream. It's almost like I was taken to a place outside of reality. 
Fate and Awakening. More importantly, I need to hurry and get ready for school. I don't want to be half a day late again. No, oh, this time I brought an umbrella. Seriously? What was the conductor thinking, charging into the station at top speed like that? I'm pretty sure it wasn't something that he did on purpose. People don't usually just decide to, hey, let's see what happens when we go full speed and don't stop. Usually that's pretty bad for everything, like everyone, everything involved. Didn't you hear? The guy totally lost it. It's been happening a lot lately. That's not a good thing to hear. All these accidents are because people are suddenly losing their minds, right? Uh, what's going on? Well, between the economy sucking, yeah, and how depressing the news always is, it's not all that surprising. And that is a depressing thought in itself. Because also remember, uh, for, for everyone watching here, this game takes place, I believe it's supposed to take place in 2016. Uh, the year is X'd out, obviously, because they don't want to say specifically, but I'm pretty sure, like, when it was designed and whatnot, these uh, games usually typically represent the year in which they're, uh, they're released or which they are slated for release. So this game came out in late 2016, if I remember right. I could be wrong, it may have been early 2017. But uh, it definitely came out in 2016 in Japan, though. Uh, so, uh... That's what makes me think this year is, like, the game year here is 2016, so uh, the, the economy wasn't all that great, and it's, honestly, it's not too much better now. Okay. Wait, I see a vending machine. Hmm? What are you people saying? I feel was it melancholic female student? I feel so down when it's raining. I guess we're playing volleyball in the gym for PE today. I'm not looking forward to that. Why do I have to be on the same team as Takami? I can read Takamaki. She's the <laughs> she's only a magazine model because of her stupid, ridiculous body. Being here disgusts me. Ah, uh, I hate people like this too. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah. I don't know where that came from, guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there. I have no idea where that came from. <laughs> uh, but we can't just ignore her either because of what happened to Mr. Kamoshida. Or with Mr. Kamoshida. Dealing with her is such a hassle. I wish she'd just not come to school. A lot of people have been saying that about people lately. You know, my teacher about me, even. Bang machines, I'll come... Wow, we don't have the time. We don't have five seconds to put some coins in a machine and take something and then walk away. We really must make sure we are not late. <laughs> I seem to have made it to school safely. Uh, what was that castle, though? Yeah. Evidently, that was probably a metaverse thing, considering what Igor told you with the app and Class whatnot. Is starting. Oh, this isn't actually voiced, he's just doing the one-line thing. Okay. Social studies teacher, Mr. Ushimaru. I'll be teaching you the rules of society this year. Because that's what you want to hear when you walk into class. I'm going to teach you how society works. Hmm. You all look like you've been spoiled growing up. Before we learn society's rules, maybe I should start with the rules of being a decent human being. I somehow get the impression that that might vary from person to person. Hey, new kid. Great. Oh god. The Greek philosopher Plato divided the human soul into three parts. Yeah, this game has like real world trivia and stuff through it, so it is somewhat educational, but how the f I personally do not know this. I not a philosophy individual. I was not a very academic individual either. So these are going to suck. What's the answer? A soul is composed of appetite, spirit, and what else? Um... Hmm... 
I am most likely going to get this wrong. Well, it's not guts. That's that's ridiculous. The fact that you know that would even be a thing on here. Appetite, spirit, and love. I don't think it's logic either. I want to say, I actually want to say love because that seems to fit more so of what they're talking about. Uh, logic doesn't seem to fit in with with appetite and spirit here. So just just through that logic alone, I'm going to go with love. Uh, probably wrong. Do you know anything? I didn't expect. You know, it was logic. The correct answer. Yeah, it's logic. See, I I had no idea. I don't know this stuff. This is. Off, all off there for me. Plato's teacher, Socrates, said that evil is born from ignorance. People who have been, uh, people who have been babied, taught that evil is due to individuality, can only become society scum. That's a fairly, uh, I don't, I don't have much to comment about that. That sounds like a very much of a, uh, uh of a foreign kind of sounding, um, viewpoint to me anyway. I, I would not say that at all. People have been taught that evil is due to individuality. Individuality is generally not taught as something evil where I am from. So, yeah. I guess he doesn't study after all. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. We should stay away from him. Yeah, you should stay away from me for other reasons too. <laughs> Crap, the teacher's looking at us. Our incidents have been occurring frequently. Those are but the actions of such scum. We don't need to crew. We don't need to crew. Wow, we don't need crew people like that in this school. Understand? He seems rather, uh, rather aggressive in that. Hey. Hey there, Takamaki. Really? You're not even going to say anything else to that? No honorific, just Takamaki. Even though you're a teacher, seriously. Uh, you're looking for a ride home? Things have been pretty dangerous lately with all those accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for a special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Ooh, nice save. Hey now, being a model's fine and dandy, but don't your work. <laughs> oh god. But don't work your pretty little self to the bone. Uh, I don't like this guy. You mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Well, something about an, ap an appendix? Oh, appendicitis. Wow, I can read. Something about appendicitis. I guess I wasn't too far off with appendix. Uh, yeah, I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy sort of. Uh, if you think there's something wrong with your appendix, that's not something you just, like, casually go to the hospital about at some point. You go right away. That is of a serious thing. So, sorry to worry you. Yeah, um, that was a terrible lie. You must be lonely too? What? I feel bad for keeping your best friend to practice so often. I... I don't think you do. That's why, I, that's why I asked you out in the first place. Oh, wow. Oh, and that... And be careful around that transfer student. Yeah, you know the one that sits behind you in class? Yeah. He's got a criminal record, after all. If something were to happen to you... Uh. Yeah, thanks. Please excuse me. Please take a hint. <laughs> Look at that face. That... That is someone scorned for someone that has no reason to be in any way, shape, or form here. Like, come on. That's why I asked you out. That is... That entire conversation was so, so inappropriate. Yo. Uh, <laughs> waiting to ambush me. <laughs> ambush? Well, I don't say shit like that. Anyways, just brush right off. What? I want to talk about the castle from yesterday. I thought it was just a dream. I tried telling myself it was all just a dream. Oh, but he couldn't do it. Can't act like nothing's happening. It's all connected to that bastard Kamashita, after all. That certainly seems to be. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And, you know, you're the only person I can rely on for this, so, uh, you win? Uh, it was just a dream. I'm out. <laughs> just, just, nope. 
nope the hell out of this one. Uh, I'm half tempted to say that, but I uh, <laughs> actually, what the hell? Yeah, I'm out. Screw this shit. Come on, man. Don't be like that. You've got to be wondering, you know, what the deal with this place was too. Yeah, I know my my whole speaking and reading and what no. I think we should just try and retrace our steps from yesterday. Well, I could use this nav Metaverse Navigator app that I learned about in a dream last night. In the meantime, you're walking to the station, right? Let's go together. Let me know if you notice any other worldly build... I can read. If you notice any other weird buildings along the way. Although, otherworldly kind of does fall into that, I suppose. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. I should probably just go along with this. Uh, thanks, game. If a huge castle like that really exists, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. Yeah, I don't think it works that way. When did they build something like that, though? We walked that way from here, right? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't remember. When you put it that way, I'm not so sure anymore. All right, this way. Let me know if you notice something. I don't think this is going to work. Huh? We're at school. Yes, that's what happens when you take the path back to school. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. Yeah, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Again, I don't think that's how this works. Let's try again. <laughs> again? I'll go home. Yeah, again. Don't worry, I won't mess up this time. Let's go. Unfortunately, his heart's in the right place, but he's missing some pertinent information. Real? Was was that gate black last time? Am I remembering it wrong? I, I for some reason I remember that not being black. And sadly, it was just a few seconds ago we saw it, and I don't remember. Is it smaller than we think it is? Hmm. What do you think? Check on your phone. Yeah. I already did that. I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy on back then? Yeah, you mean this Metaverse navigation app that I didn't know where it came from that I was told about in a mysterious dream last night? Oh my god. See, I'm sorry, but at this point, uh, it doesn't matter that I'm looking at this and seeing everything that's going on. The main character has seen this app pop up several times on his phone, even after he's deleted it. And he was just told in a dream all about this Metaverse app and that it's be useful in your rehabilitation, all that thing. Like, even if he doesn't understand any of that thing, that should at least jog some memories of the, wait, is it talking about this? Like, I mean, seriously, come on. I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like, returned to the real world or, or something like that? Oh, now you pick up onto the real world part of that sentence. Let me see your phone for a bit. Um, no. Re oh, that... Why? What's this eyeball looking thing? That would be it. I can't delete it. Cute logo, huh? <laughs> I am really tempted to say that. It's a cute logo. Yeah. yeah, but no, it just really, it just appeared up. You know what? No, cute logo. That's not how I'd describe it. <laughs> what a weird app. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, wait, this is it. I knew it. It is a navigation app. There's even your search history. I don't recall search Oh, anything. man, I'm such a genius. Let's try using it. 
I don't know about this, but I don't know how. Well, you probably just tap the app and let it do its thing. I don't know about this. Why? All we're doing is starting an app. <laughs> yeah, famous last... well, I shouldn't say famous last words, but that, those sound like some, uh, some last words. Tamoshida. Shujin Academy. Pervert. Castle. Beginning navigation. Here we go! And then we went in a certain direction and... Hey, what are you... Well, that was ominous. Huh? What the hell? Yesterday. I'm actually kind of curious. What do they see when this transitions over? Do they see that like screen effect with the everything like flowing around and taking over itself, and then just poof to this? Or is that just for show for us? I don't know why that popped into my head. We made it back. That means what happened yesterday was for real too. Yeah, you didn't figure that out with the whole fact that we both saw and knew the same thing and half the day just vanished while we were, you know, incarcerated in here. Yeah. Those clothes. Yeah. That happened last time too, huh? I guess this means I'm in more control of my uh, powers now. What's with that outfit? Uh, I don't know. I think it's kind of spazzy. Spazzy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you jelly? Not bad, huh? You like it? What's not to like? What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all! Actually, I just noticed that as I was saying that when the text disappeared there for a moment, his shoes are kind of like pointed up. That's kind of weird. That, that could change, but everything else is pretty cool. Stop making a commotion! Uh, you? The shadows started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. <sighs> to think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. I think we did pretty well, considering. What is this place? Is it the school? That's right. Okay, and how would you know that? It's a castle! This castle is the school. Again, who are you to know what the school is? It's clearly, you're not like the other two of us here standing in the room looking just normal. You, you are clearly a cat thing. We don't have you walking around outside of here normally. But only to this castle's ruler. The castle's ruler? I think you called him Kamoshida? It's how his distorted heart views the school. His what now? Kamoshida? Distorted? Well, he's an arrogant son of a bitch. Actually, that's not fair. Explain it in a way that makes sense! Well, we don't, we don't know anything about his mother. I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. <laughs> what did you say? She called him. She... He called you a moron. I'm probably going to constantly uh, screw up my pronouns with uh, with Morgana there, because uh, I'm fairly certain the voice act, the, the like the person voicing him is uh, is a woman, and I'm I've heard the voice in other things before, and I just to me the voice sounds feminine. It doesn't sound like a like a young boyish sort of voice, which is what they're going for. To me, it sounds like a you know like a younger girl essentially. And so the fact that Morgana is also like 
cat not exactly pictured or depicted with a particular gender, I'm constantly going to be probably referring to, to Morgana as a she. It also doesn't help with the name, because the only other Morgana that I am uh, familiar with is a female character as well. So, yeah. What was that? Clearly that was a scream. It must be the slaves captive here. For real? Oh shit, it's for real! Yes, it is. We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. Huh. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? Yeah, seriously, we don't know what his mother's like. Leave her out of this. This is bullshit! Be quiet. Oh, that's smart. You hear me, Kamushina? Yeah, let's announce to everybody that, hey, we're at your front door. Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. No, but it's probably going to draw attention. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Clearly. Hey, Mona Mona! <laughs> Mona Mona! It's Morgana! Oof. Do not anger the cat. Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. Why me? Well, because clearly, out of the three of us here, I'm the only other person besides Morgana that can fight. That's why. I don't want to say no, but I don't want to say let's go. Ah, oh, what the hell, let's just go with let's go. It's settled then. That is not something that I would say at this point there. I would probably... Uh, I actually, you know what, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop right there, I don't even know. For real? Yeah, for real, let's go, Thanks, hurry up. Man. Let's do this! Follow me! Alright, but uh, speaking of let's do this and follow me... And, nah. Oh, this is our infiltration point. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? Yeah, so let's go in here instead of through a door we can't open. That's right, not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. Yeah, how are we supposed to know about stuff like that? Well, you can also think barging into the front door is probably a good way to get yourself caught. But think of it that way. Yeah, I'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. Uh. Yeah, sorry for dragging you in all this. No, no, you're not. You lit. I, you know what? I, I did go along with this, so I'm not gonna say anything. I just can't forgive that bastard Kamashi of doing whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> really, though, thanks for coming. I owe you big time. Yeah, you do. Oh, I was hoping we get a chance to save. <sighs> Man, this place is creepy as always. Hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say, alright? This way! Follow me. Can we pop out? Can we get back out the way we came briefly? We cannot. Well,. Uh, we are almost at 40 minutes now, and uh, this is a little longer than what I intended to go on to go for, but we're going to call it here for now. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully you'll come back next time to see uh, what shenanigans we'll get ourselves into this time. Until then, take care. Wow. Take care, you here. <laughs>